OMG, stop texting. Three excessive text messages led one Buffalo Bills fan to file a class action lawsuit against the team. And now the Bills are out $3 million. Some of the details might have you LOLing. I'm Kerry Chow, joined by ESPN legal analyst Lester Munson. Lester, tell us about this case. What, what happened here? How did this all start? This started because the Buffalo Bills decided they would uh, initiate a program of texting their fans. They made the offer to the fans. They told the fans they would receive five text messages each week, uh, and the text messages would give them uh, information that the fans uh, would enjoy about their beloved uh, Buffalo Bills. Instead of sending five a week, they sent 13, three more than they had promised uh, over a two-week period, and that resulted in this class action lawsuit. One of the people who got the 13 messages decided he was somehow wronged, he was harmed, he was injured, and off we go into a class action lawsuit. So what do the plaintiffs get here? The plaintiffs are going to get debit cards that they can use in the Buffalo Bills uh, paraphernalia shop. They can go in and buy a sweatshirt uh, or a hat or something. The, the debit cards will range uh, between $57.50 and $75, depending on the size of the claim. There are, incredibly, 39,000 fans who qualify now for these debit cards. Uh, I guess that's a commentary on the culture of Buffalo. I'm not quite sure what to make of the fact that 39,000 people wanted text messages about the Buffalo Bills. That's a great point, Lester. You've been covering a lot of cases. Uh, let me ask you straight up. Is this a frivolous lawsuit? This is a, a, a frivolous lawsuit. It's an embarrassing lawsuit. The class action law of this country is one of the great methods for righting a wrong, particularly a wrong that corporate America has inflicted upon consumers. This is simply embarrassing. I'm not sure why this was filed. The lawyers for the fans are collecting $560,000 in fees. That would be just about the only conceivable explanation for this lawsuit. My guess is that of the 39,000 debit cards, probably 5,000 will actually get used. The fans don't care about this. It's a, a strictly a maneuver for the benefit of the lawyers. And uh, speaking of attorney fees, the uh, Bills also had to pay half a million in attorney fees. That's ESPN legal analyst Lester Munson. Lester, great stuff. Appreciate it. Thank you, Kerry. I'm Kerry Chow with your latest ESPN headline.